All right, everybody, with the return of Michael Flynn to Twitter, Brian Cates did a thread that he wants everybody to hear. Great article on this recent development in the Flynn case by Sean Davis. This new filing appears to be directly related to the work of the Missouri U.S. attorney that Barr appointed as special prosecutor to go into the D.C. United States Attorney's Office and review the Flynn case. Now, remember something we've known for two and a half years. Way back in August of 2017, Senator Chuck Grassley attempted to get exculpatory evidence declassified to be fair to Flynn. His request was denied. I wrote about it here. Let's and here's in the Epoch Times from Brian. In August of 2017, Senator Chuck Grassley sent a letter to Secretary of Defense James Mattis and the Director of the Defense Intelligence Agency, Lieutenant General Vincent R. Stewart, in which he revealed that his Senate Judiciary Committee had been shown some highly classified documents by current DIA personnel back on May 25th. In his letter, Grassley specifically requested that Mattis and Stewart declassify at least one particular piece of information in these documents out of fairness to Flynn. Grassley wrote, Based on representations made by the DIA personnel, it appears the public release of this information would not pose any ongoing risk to national security. Moreover, the declassifications would be in the public interest and is in the interest of fairness to Lieutenant General Flynn. From what is currently known, it appears Grassley's request was refused, likely because divulging it would compromise ongoing investigations. Whatever the reason, it appears that at least key members of Congress are aware there are things going on underneath the surface in the Flynn case, and the most popular and prevalent narratives could be wrong. Back to Brian's thread. Now, U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Missouri, here and after USA Edmo, has taken documents he found in his review of both the FBI's Crossfire Hurricane, that's going to be CHT, and the Mueller Special Counsel Prosecutor's work on the Flynn case, and he has given them, un them under seal to Sidney Powell. Now, Sidney Powell is Michael Flynn's attorney. Note that Timothy Shea, the new United States Attorney for D.C., tells Powell, Flynn's attorney, in this letter that came with the enclosed documents from the United States Attorney from the Eastern District of Missouri, more documents may be coming that this special prosecutor finds in his review of the Crossfire Hurricane and Mueller Special Counsel's work on the Flynn case. Remember what Van Grack, Van Grack is the prosecutor in the Flynn case, and Weissman, second in command to Mueller in the Mueller Special Counsel, insisted for over two years. They insisted, we've turned everything over, we have given the Flynn defense team everything we're required to give them, we have held nothing back. Okay. Then, in January, Barr appoints a United States attorney from the Eastern District of Missouri to go in there and review. That appointment of that U.S. attorney from the Eastern District of Missouri to be a special prosecutor to review the Flynn case came while the former U.S. attorney for D.C., Jesse K. Liu, was being replaced by a bar top lieutenant, Timothy Shea. And now, USA Edmo, United States Attorney, Eastern District of Missouri, just gave Powell Lynn's attorney, a bunch of documents he found during his review. Okay, you with us so far? But there aren't supposed to be any documents left to be turned over to the Flynn defense team, remember? Both the FBI's Crossfire Hurricane team and the Mueller special counsel team withholding exculpatory evidence? My goodness, man, perish the thought. Why? They'd never hide exculpatory evidence, right? The FBI's Crossfire Hurricane team hiding exculpatory evidence favoring one of their targets. That doesn't sound at all like them, does it? I can't smirk hard enough here. I'm going to have to try to smirk harder. So, in just the past three days, one, 
Devin Nunes reminds everybody that there is a special prosecutor now inside the D.C. United States Attorney's Office reviewing the Flynn case. And two, Steele is outed as an utter fraud, having wiped all his dossier Fusion GPS records back in 20 freaking 17. And now, that special prosecutor in the D.C. United States Attorney's Office reviewing the Flynn case and very likely other cases handled there just handed off a bunch of documents he found during his review under court seal to Sidney Powell and the rest of the Flynn defense team. Dirty cops on both the FBI's Crossfire Hurricane team and the Mueller Special Counsel just had their buttholes pucker up tight at this news. What did the United States Attorney for the Eastern District of Missouri find? And what was just handed over under seal to Sidney Powell, Michael Flynn's attorney? We don't know. But I'm pretty sure the dirty cops have a pretty good idea what it is. Tick-tock, tick-tock, round the clock. To the coming perp walk, yo. LOL. At the time that was going on, nobody knew what was being set up. No leaks. Nobody knew the United States Attorney for the Eastern District of Missouri was even in there doing this review until Barr himself announced it. Angry leftists are only now, now, discovering what's been apparent for more than two years. The dirty cops of the Crossfire Hurricane team framed Flynn on a bogus minor process perjury charge and handed it off to a corrupt Mueller special counsel to prosecute for them. And now the whole case is about to be tossed. Remember how I spent two years telling you the conservative media people insisting there was no investigation of this leak of the Flynn phone call, his intel intercepts were wrong? Of course, part of Durham's Russiagate investigations involved the strategic leak to David Ignatius of the Washington Post. What'll come out next is that the investigation of that Flynn leak began back in 2017. They just didn't talk about it. For three years, and even for the year since Barr took Durham and his team public back in May of 2019, only now is it coming out. And, as expected, Sidney Powell, Lynn's attorney, her very first move on receiving these documents under seal from the special prosecutor inside the D.C. U.S. Attorney's Office, tasked by Ed, Attorney General William Barr to review the Flynn case fiasco, is to get these documents Unseal, unsealed. And then, as if by magic, tonight, General Flynn made his first tweet in three years. It's about to get good.